Hey there tech enthusiasts, welcome to the Beatanex, your ultimate destination for mastering AI tools and advancing your career. I'm Suraj and today we are diving into the buzz surrounding Copilot in Excel. Is it truly a game changer or just another hype feature? Let's find it out. And hey, if you are looking to get a head start on AI, click the link in the description below to join Beatanex exclusive AI tools at ChatGPT workshop. 9 rupees. 9 rupees cannot even buy you this packet of biscuit. But what if I tell you that 9 rupees can help you save your job? What if I tell you that 9 rupees can 3x your salary? Yes, this is possible because I am going to conduct a workshop at just rupees 9 on ChatGPT and other AI tools which is highly recommended for all working professionals out there. Microsoft Excel is getting some AI love called Copilot. It can figure out formulas, add new columns, generate charts, highlight cells, and even analyze data. Basically, it promises to revolutionize the way you work with the spreadsheets. But is it all hype or is it truly the future of Excel? Well, let's find out. To get Microsoft Copilot in Excel, head to the following website. First, you will need a Microsoft 365 subscription and second subscription to something called Copilot Pro. So basically, you need two different subscriptions. With Copilot Pro, you get access to Copilot within all the different apps like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Plus, you also get some other benefits like using Chat GPT-4 during peak hours. And you can also create images faster using DALI 3. Once you finish getting all the required subscriptions, you should now have access to Copilot. And here in Excel, I have some sample data. Now that I have Copilot up on top, let's click on the Home tab and all the way over on the right hand side, you should now see a new option for Copilot. But right now it's grayed out and I can't actually click on it. Here, if we hover over the Copilot icon here, we will see this tool tip up here. And it says that Copilot only works with files stored in OneDrive or SharePoint. Currently, this file is stored locally on my computer, so I need to put it into the cloud first. So over the top left hand corner, I'll click on the file menu and then go down to save as. And here I can save in either OneDrive or in SharePoint. I'll select OneDrive and over here, I'll click on save. Now, now that we have saved this workbook in the cloud, up in the top hand right corner, you will see that I am now able to click on the Copilot icon. So let's click on this. This now opens up pane over on the right hand side with all the Copilot capabilities. But here too, you will see that these tools are also now grayed out. Look down just a little bit. Here first it want to convert this data range or all of this data over here into a table. To be able to use Copilot, it has to act on table. At least here it offers to convert it for me. So let's click on this button to convert. And just like that, it's now converted to all this data range into a table. Aside from being able to use Copilot, you will get all sorts of advantages from using tables in Excel. Here, for instance, you get the nice formatting with all these banded rows. Right above, you can also very quickly change the formatting. Maybe, maybe something else tickles your fancy. Right over here, you also get all these different filter headers. So you can very quickly filter or sort your data. And right above you have various options like adding a total row then here you get a few more options as well over on the right hand side let's now go to very top of copilot here you will see all sorts of different ways of how you can engage with copilot for example you can use it to add formula call and in a moment we will see what that means you could also highlight cells you can sort and filter and here you could also analyze your data and identify if there are any outliers here we see a few more suggestions and down at the very bottom you have prompt box. This is where you can ask questions or make requests to the Copilot AI. And here too there is no shortage of learning materials. If you are struggling with uh, forming a prompt, down here we could click on this view prompt icon and here too you will see all sorts of sample prompts that you can enter in. For example here I click on create you will see the different types of activities that you can do with the Copilot. For now, let me click out of that and here I will simply click into the prompt. I want to start with a very simple question. I want to know, can Copilot figure out how, how many customers we have here at Kevin Cookies company? Over here, if I look at all my data, you will see, you will see that in column B, I have all of the different customer names. And one quick way to figure out how many unique or distinct customer we have, I could simply click on the filter icon. And here I can see that we have five. But let's see if the AI can figure this out. 
Down below, I will type in my question, how many customers does the Kevin Cookie Company have? Now, along with typing in a question, I can also speak the question using microphone by clicking on this icon. But I prefer typing. Over here, let's now send this prompt to AI and look at that. Over one right hand side here, it says, according to the data, Kevin Cookie Company has five distinct customers. That's exactly what we saw when we clicked on the filter. So it's look like it's working properly. If I scroll up a bit more, here I see a table that also shows five. And I can now add this to our new sheet. Let's click on this button and this now drops us into a new worksheet. Now let's try something a little bit more complicated. Let's see if we can add a new column to this table with the profit. That's the revenue minus the cost. Right down below here, I'll type in my prompt, add a new column with profit. That should be easy enough, but let's see what it comes back with. I'll click on send, write a verb. It looks like it came back with a response. It proposes that it's the revenue minus the cost. Well, that's exactly right. Over here, I can click on this carrot icon and I can also have it explain the formula to me. That can be helpful if it's a little bit more complicated than this example. Here, I'll minimize that. Now over here, I can hover over this insert column and there I can preview what it will look like when it adds that profit column to my table. And if I am certain that I want to add it, here I will simply click on that button and right down below it says done. Added profit to column G and of course I actually didn't want that column. I could also undo it, so that's pretty cool. Here it understood my data, it understands what profit is and here it actually calculated that that helps save some time. AI is reshaping industries at unprecedented pace. In such a dynamic landscape, staying relevant and upscaling is crucial to safeguarding your career. Join our exclusive 3 hours AI tools workshop to equip yourself with the skills needed to thrive in AI driven world. Click the link in the description to secure your spot. Copilot shines in simplifying complex tasks such as adding new columns or identifying data trends. Its natural language processing capabilities allows users to interact with Excel in a conversational manner, making tasks more intuitive and efficient. From highlighting profitable orders to uncovering seasonal trends, Copilot empowers users to harness the full potential of Excel with ease and precision. Pretty impressive, right? Copilot isn't just another gimmick. It's a powerful tool that can enhance productivity and streamline workflows. Mastering AI tools like Copilot is essential for professionals looking to stay ahead in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. And remember to check out our workshop, link in the description to take your AI skills to the next level. We'll see you there. Thank you.